Hello, Mr. Dre back with another video. And in this one, what we're going to do is divide decimals by the power of 10. And what we mean by a power of 10 is 10, 100, 1,000, and so on. And sometimes they're just written as that. Sometimes they're written with a base and an exponent. But either way, this strategy is showing you how to, how to divide by a power of 10, right? And we're dividing decimals by a power of 10. So if you look at this first one here, $1,425 divided by 100, at first you might say, well, there isn't a decimal here, but we know that every single whole number has that imaginary decimal, sometimes we call it, at the end. So in this number, the imaginary decimal is right there, even though it's not written down. And one, the main thing you want to think about when you're dividing um, by anything, but in this case, dividing by a power of 10, and dividing a decimal when you divide by a whole number any whole number bigger than one then obviously the number gets smaller right after you divide so if you have money that you start off with and then you have to share it with friends obviously once you divide that money up with your friends you're you're going to have less than what you started with so dividing decreases the value of the number that you're starting with so that's gonna help us, if we remember that, that's gonna help us um, to figure out where the decimal goes, right? So let's get started. This is super, super easy. If you can count, you can do this, right? So in this one, $1,425 divided by 100, all we need to do is think about, okay, first of all, where's the decimal? It's right there, right? Since there are two zeros in 100, two zeros, one, two, we're gonna move the decimal, one, two places this way, and it's gonna end up right there. So when I rewrite my answer, okay, I'm going to, hold on, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna write that, hold on. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write the entire thing out, okay? Um, when I rewrite it, I'm gonna put the decimal, not here, but one place, two places, it's gonna go right there. We're gonna pretend this is my this is my dollar sign, right? So now it's fourteen dollars and twenty five cents, right? Which makes sense because if you had one thousand four hundred twenty five dollars and you had to divide it by a lot of people, a hundred people, you're not gonna have that much left, right? Fourteen dollars and twenty five cents, right? So two zeros, two decimal places. That rule holds up on all of these, right? 84 and 3 tenths divided by 10, okay? 10 has one zero. So we're gonna move the decimal one place. Now you might say, well, how do I know which place to move the decimal? Well, since we're dividing by a whole number, if I would move it this way, it, the number would get bigger. It would go all the way up to 843. That doesn't make sense. So obviously the decimal moves to the left when we're making a number smaller, right? So one, one um, quick way to do this is to just copy down all the digits, 843. So 843. And then put your pen or your pencil where the decimal started, it started here, and it's gonna move one place. So one place over, one place over. And when you're writing your answer, you never really wanna have like, you know, these arrows or these loops down. It's better to, to you know, do your work off to the side or put the loops up here if you need to do that. But when you're writing your official answer, you want it to be clean. You don't want like loops all over the place, right? So um, 84 and 3 tenths becomes 8 and 43 hundredths. Easy. In this one, this one's a little bit tricky, right? We have 15 and 9 tenths divided by 1,000. So I'm going to do what we just said to copy down all the digits, right? And now watch what happens when I move the decimal in this one. One, two, three, zero. So I'm gonna move, that means it's to the power of three tens, right? Because 10 times 10 times 10 is a, is a thousand. So that's three decimal places. Each 10 is a decimal place. So I need to move the decimal three places, but watch what happens when I move it three places. One place, two places, and now look at this, three places. So there's a loop right here right? There's a loop right there. So what that means is, watch what I need to do. One, one, two, three, but there's a missing place right there. And what we need is kind of like a placeholder. We fill in a zero. So 15 and nine tenths became 
159, it's actually 10 thousandths, right? So whenever you move the decimal into an extra space, you just fill it in with a zero, right? It's kind of like when we multiplied and the decimal went too many places this way, we need to attach a zero at the end. Here we need to attach a zero on that side too, right? So this next one, 95 divided by 10 to the second power, First of all, we know 10 to the second power is two tens being multiplied, right? 10 times 10, which is two zeros or 100. So all we need to do is, first of all, there's no decimal here. We know it's right there. We're gonna move it two places. One, two, it's gonna go right there. One, two, boom, 95 hundredths. If you want to, if that looks weird to you, you can put a zero right there in the, in the whole number spot, but you don't really need it, okay? In this one, 3,457 divided by 10 to the third power. Well, we know 10 to the third power is a one with one, two, three zeros, or 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand, right? So you can always, if this helps, put what the exponent actually means, right? So we know that the decimal is right here in this whole number. So we're gonna move it one, two, three places. It's gonna go right there between the three and the four. So I'm gonna copy these digits down, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three. It goes right there, three and 457 thousandths. In this last one, 17 and 48 hundredths, we're dividing by 10 to the first, which is really just 110, right? One, zero, 110. So if, you know, if it helps, you can just put that up there, it's a 10. We're gonna move it one place. Now, again, which way? Well. If I move it this way, the number will be getting bigger, which doesn't make sense when we're dividing by a whole number. So we're gonna move it this way, and it's gonna become one and 748 thousandths, all right? So a couple key things to remember. Um, if your number does not have a decimal, remember it's at the, the imaginary decimals at the end of every whole number. Um, remember that when we divide by a whole number, like 10, 100, 1,000, the decimal goes to the left, right? Because the number is getting smaller, so use number sense. And a, a quick, easy way to know where to move the decimal is to just count the number of zeros, and that's how many places it moves because a zero or a 10 is one place value, right? Once you get this down, dividing by 10, 100, 1,000, and so on, you can apply the same rule to divide by like 50, 500 or 70, 700, the same rule applies, right? You move the decimal for each place value. All right, hope that was helpful, and we will catch you on the next one.